much into this hit. Both of these guys are right on the edge. Unreal. Four laps to go. I'm not sure if that lap track, you see it out there at the end of the straightaway. It's about 20, 25 car lengths in front of Eric Jones. Will he catch the lap traffic? I think he will before the finish. I like Eric Jones at 22, he runs his line. Doesn't care about Kyle Busch. Just runs where he wants to run. And then over here on this end of the racetrack, he took that line away from Kyle. But Eric's good down here on the bottom. He only ran to the top because he was trying to take it away from Kyle. Kyle, he tricked Kyle that time. Kyle went to the bottom thinking Eric was going to run the top. That's a guessing game, isn't it? You don't yep. really know what a guy in front of you is going to do, but that did not work in Kyle Busch's favor. Eric did a really good job on that lap traffic in three and four. He does another good job here in one and two. The lap traffic staying out of the way, giving it, giving away the leaders. Oh, 18 and a hard, hard in the wall on the turn two. He did. He hit it hard. very hard. Coming up on two laps to go. Eric Jones needs to be perfect. Well, Kyle Busch just gave him an opening. You know the spotters come over the radio, that 20 car, telling him about Kyle Busch getting to the fence. So back it down. Jones, back it down. He's up. We don't have to run hard. You can see 18 is not in the mirror anymore. But you have to hope, you have to hope that he doesn't cut a tire. This is, is on the car. Oh, he does. Hard He's on the fence again. He's yeah, the hard hard into the fence. He's back into the white. Now go to the line as hard as you can. Now the 20 needs to get to the white flag. Turn four. One lap to go. Presented by Credit One Bank. All right, he's got there. Right here. Flag. One more time, brother. All clear. And Kyle Busch is in big trouble. In the wall, all the way down the front straightaway. That's true. There could be some debris. Look at the 20. Running a very low line, staying very low. Trying not to get any type of debris on the racetrack. Larson, three and a half seconds back, running second. Eric Jones in his 100th start in the Monster Energy Cup Series is going to win the Southern 500. Eric Jones wins in 2019. Yes, sir. I cannot tell you how proud I am for you, Eric Jones. Way to freaking dig, man. All the pressure, and you did it, man. You should be proud of yourself right now. All four of the Joe Gibbs Racing teams have won now in 2019. 13 wins for the organization of the 25 races. Jones wins in the Monster Energy Cup Series, his first win of 2019. you've ever had to drive and how much pressure was Kyle putting on you Eric? Yeah I mean I'm more out just uh, mentally and physically um, 
more mental than anything, but Kyle was really running hard, and uh, you know he's one of the best guys out there. And our sport clips camera was good, but man, I was pedaling as hard as I could, and just glad to hold him off and uh, finally get to victory lane. I feel like it's been coming for us for a long time, so it just feels really good. You had all the speculation this year about what was going to happen next year. What kind of answer is this for you to win a crown jewel event like this, Eric? Is there anything more to say? <laughs> I mean, you know, there's been a lot of doubt and a lot of speculation, and I put my heart and soul into, into this and this race team, and this is my living and, and how I want to make a career and what I want to do, and uh, if it doesn't get any better on my list, this race is really high, and it's going to look damn good to see my face on that trophy. Hey, how about these Darlington fans who stayed through the rain delay? It's almost 2 a.m., Eric, and they're still here, packed house. Uh, thank you guys for coming. You're welcome. have a big party in Darlington tonight. A crown jewel win, and as you mentioned, Rick, winning at Daytona and now Darlington. That's pretty good.